Hi, this is Sean Ramirez. Hi, and I'm Crystal Lees, and we're here to talk to you today a little bit about some of the bad advice your friends give you when you're going through a divorce. One of the things that I hear a lot of people say is like, let's kick off this case by filing a restraining order against right. the other party, because they feel it's going to give them a litigation advantage. What do you think? Well. Unless you have a legitimate reason to file a restraining order, unless there is some domestic violence going on, you probably want to avoid this because judges, they see this all the time. They're pretty savvy and they can tell when a restraining order is being filed to try and get some sort of advantage versus an actual real reason to file it. And I think it can even backfire against you because it can paint you in a negative light if it kind of looks like a frivolous filing of a restraining order. That's very true. So you definitely want to make sure that you actually have a reason. Um, that there's, you know, obviously they're very useful in cases where there's actual domestic violence going on, where kids are being hurt, where the co-parent's being hurt, a husband or a wife. Definitely, definitely, um, we, we need to look into it. But if you're just doing it to, uh, you know, get custody of the kids, uh, you know, on an emergency basis, or to kick the other person out of the house because you think that's going to give you an advantage in the long run, it won't. No, it won't. And there are tools within an actual divorce and custody case that you can use. We can file motions to uh, establish temporary orders that are going to handle temporary time sharing, temporary custody issues. Um, immediately, there's there's a temporary domestic order that gets entered that kind of controls what happens with, with assets and things like that. There are mechanisms already in place, so you don't have to go to this effort to file this restraining order, which, like I said before, can ultimately backfire on you if the judge kind of sees through this, this ruse that you're trying to perpetrate. That's true, and it can actually um, filter through the rest of your case and, and have a negative outcome in the end. So you definitely don't want to do it unless there's a, a legitimate reason to do it. Absolutely. You want to put that best foot forward. Come check out BowKnowsDivorce.com to find out more about the law firm and also set up a free consultation with one of the attorneys.